All right, here we go, boys. First game of Leona in a long, long time. Let's see how this goes. Dodged our first hook. Beautiful. We're going to be playing to contest uh, bush control with this pike. Standing over here so we don't get hit by hooks and some Q's. Once these two minions are dead, we're going to walk up. We're going to start aggressing for the, the, the next wave. Saved our relic shield so we can use them on this wave right here. Want to push for two. Hit the one that's healthier. That easy. It's that easy, boys. All right. Uh, what do we do when we get a kill at level two, boys? What do we do? Let me know, chat. Yes, sir. It's been a while, but we it's its all coming back to us, isn't it? We hit him with the roam. We already won our bot lane. It's time to go win mid lane for him. He has no W. We're trading. Unfortunate. Really unfortunate. I, I, I'm just going to take a death here. Really unfortunate that I had to do that. He wasn't going to die, though. And, of course, while I'm roaming, my ADC takes that opportunity to die. Classic. Classic ADC. And she pings me. Love you, too, Cupcake. Why would she die? I actually have no idea. It should be really easy for her to survive, but... Okay. Coming back into lane with two daggers. What we're going to do... We're going to Hex Flash from this... Actually, we don't want to fight yet. I'm only level two. We don't fight this. We don't fight this. And honestly, we might be able to fight that, but... I want, I want my level uh, level three. Gives me a really nice safety net because I don't bring Aftershock on Leona anymore, which means that... Need to basically use W as a makeshift aftershock. Because we're going this glacial build. Get our defenses from W. Ah, man. She spooked him. Whoa. Tank for her. Path forward. Beautiful, beautiful. Mr. Cannon, that's okay. Let's use all our spells here. We're not in, uh, at risk of eating gank because we see the Shivana top side. But yeah, we're doing this as an educational, showing you guys, one, giving you a little reminder of what the best Leona player on the entire freaking planet, Universe Solar System, uh, looks like. And two... Showing you guys how to win games as Leona. How to actually win games. Not just sit there and sometimes stun people. We get proactive, baby. We get out there. We roam. We win every lane for our team. Not just bot. Beautiful play. The commentary is really helpful as I'm learning Leona right now. Good. You're in the right place. Um... I thought he was going to come in here and start clearing this ward. I should have walked in here and then hex flashed over that wall. Uh, she's trying. She's she's baiting as much as she can. Ah, it's too bad. I should I should I should I should have tanked her for her somehow. Back to the greatest support alive playing Leona. Sir. Legend. Yes, sir. Yo, Ghost and Kiwi with the Prime for four months. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate you. All right. Our job as tank support here is to not necessarily DPS. It is to just give vision, give information about the jungle, cut her off, cut off these entrances, keep her from contesting. And we're very confident that she's not going to be contesting. Then we can come down here and DPS a little bit. Gonna clear this. I'm actually just gonna sit on this. I'm not gonna clear it. Mm. He juked. 
go back to bot. We're falling a little bit behind in XP because we've had two failed ganks mid. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you for waiting. All right, so on this gank, we need to try to not give Samira an angle to like dash through us. See, she's, she's trying to dash through us, like to get to her base here, right? Like she did with Udir. So it's kind of awkward when you gank someone, like when the wave is shoved in like that, but you want to like walk below her so that if she dashes, she dashes towards our turret rather than hers. There's a lot of like champion specific things like that that change how you, uh, how you gank as melee supports. Like obviously, you know, if you're playing a hook champion, you need to like play around the fact that Ezreal has a dash or a blink. Oh, with Samira, it's just, just don't give her a dash towards her turret. Or walk a, what is that called? Parallel with her? All right, we out of here. I'm gonna pop red trink, get all these bushes cleared. Echo's already dropping the GG. Um, we're just, bro, we're just gonna run the mobies. Honest, I don't, actually, nah, we can't. We, I don't, I don't like mobies. We'll go, we'll go mercs on her. And yeah, we'll go mercs this game. Mobies, just because we have like so much momentum going, wouldn't be terrible, but I just really don't like mobies on tank supports anymore. Liner support gap, Le Leona is proactive as heck. True. By the way, thank you guys to everyone that's downloading and completed the tutorial on Mech Arena. Really, really helps out the stream. Thank you guys. I'm just going to show and get this cannon. Also, I, I also want to be topside and playing for Rift Herald. I want, my, I want my Udir to go start it, though. I want to make sure that like that's what he's planning to do before I walk over there. I'd also like to hit level six first, too. So I need one, two minions. One minion? Mid lane's OP. Alright, literally their only play is to dive dive Tristana. So if she just doesn't give them that play, this should be free. I'm gonna go win top lane for us. Come on, bro, where are you going? Where are you going, man? Why, why, why are you making this harder than it has to be? Doink. Don't care, bro. I wasn't going to get the assist gold, and I'm not walking all the way up here for nothing. I'm taking the kill. Spicy Hobie converted from a prime to a tier one. Thank you, man. Also, Kasumi90 with the 12 months. Congratulations on your new sub badge. Appreciate you. <gasps> oh, my God. 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 Where did she go? Where did Shivana go, bro? She must have seen me here and then like immediately started backtracking. I don't know where she went, man. We are running the freaking map though, guys. Feels good. Blow up the pike. <laughs> it's not actually worth it to flash after that. Ooh, Deer thinks it's worth it to ghost after it, though. Leo, have my kids. You said, guys, these are not paid actors. I am just at a random game of solo queue. I don't know why everyone on this team is like <laughs> saying to have my kids or whatever, but. I mean, when you when you support gap this hard, it comes with the territory. I know, I know, I get it. I'm the, I'm the greatest support alive. We're just gonna push this in, play for Pryo before we go to Dragon. Take this, take this. Like this. Uh, we should just right click dragon here. I don't even, oh, I just, I just got my uh, support item. 
Throw a ward over there. Do the dragon guys. They're they're wasting our time is what they're doing. Like, does it really matter if this pike runs around in circles? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, it's me, boys. The one and only. Yeah, we. I mean, we did, sh should just do the dragon there, though. Kind of playing into their hand by chasing them around the map and. What not? An enemy has been Job top lane, baby. The sun always rises. Pop sweep. What are you doing to my ward, huh? What are you doing to my ward? That's what I thought. All right, I'm just like controlling the zone for the dragon. Are we ever gonna do it? Really funny joke, bro. I think they forgot that I'm invincible when I press W. Oh. So I think a big mistake a lot of people make when they pre when they uh, play Leona is literally just like mashing every single button when they go in. Whereas, like, especially if you're playing without Aftershock, you want to stall out your W until you, like, are actually getting focused. Don't don't use your W as damage. Wait until you're actually getting focused by someone important. And then you push it, and you are invincible. I'll stop my back again. Um, second item is kind of weird on Leona because it, it, honestly, the second item just feels so low impact on tank supports these days that it just doesn't really matter. Uh, Everfrost, I mean, uh, even Shroud is good as a primary item, so is Locket. Actually, Locket would have been better here because Locket is a really, really good item at denying champions like Samira. Reset champions, they're reset. And they're all melee. Literally every single champion on their team is melee. So I definitely, I should have gone Locket here, but it's kind of on autopilot. But yeah, itemization on tanks is super, super simple. Like, to a, to a detriment. All right. Took the Rift Herald, so I want to use it somewhere. I want to use it to crack open top, actually. So there's a lot of mobility moves in this game, like Ezreal E and Tristana Jump and Pike E, that if you can somewhat predict when they're going to use it, you can kind of tag along a ride with their E or with your E. And then an even cooler trick that you can do with Leona's E, it's probably like the hardest, I mean, <laughs> Leona mechanics are obviously like not the most complex thing, but the coolest thing that mechanically you can do with this champion is like, if you predict that Lee Sen is going to kick you, you can input buffer your E and then do something I call the slingshot where he will kick you, but you will E to him. So you like slingshot back to him. So if he's like trying to flash kick you into his team, you can E right back to him if you predict it. 
The, the timing on it is a little hard, but once you get it down, it's like, it's, uh, it's so cool. This guy's just dead. You can actually turn this. Me, me and Tristana. That was a bad ulti. Oh, she, <laughs> she actually flashed right when I flashed. It's unfortunate. Dodge the pike ult. Uh, uh, almost dodged the pikey. Ah, bad. I need to use the. I need to use the herald, but definitely need to go back. I could. I guess I could have dropped it mid and let Tristana walked it in. Lol, oof, not a support diff. Ooh, woo. <laughs> do you guys, do you guys like the the nonchalant pike alt dodge? As a Pike player myself, I know he felt that one in his soul. Um, I mean, I want this to actually crash, so I don't want to use it yet. Making it easy for them, boys. We're making it easy for them. All right, we'll just we'll just drop the herald. That's about as good as it gets. By the way, thank you to whoever just downloaded and completed the tutorial for Mech Arena, baby. All right, well we don't get we don't get the turret even with the herald, but whatever. You know what's the reason I discovered your channel? Yeah, I mean, I used to hardcore one tricker years ago. I think a lot, of, a lot of people found, discovered the GSA through this champion. So we, we always gotta occasionally pay respects, pay our homage to the original. Oh, they're not, they're not going down without a fight, boys. I don't think I follow him up on this though. I've got a shutdown. Uh, we're gonna go watch for Wardstone third item. That this item, it's a weird one because it's really hard to buy, and it's really hard. I mean, nah, dude, we have to be level thirteen to get it to transform. It's such a weird item, bro. Like, why would they make a support item that's like level, level gated? So weird. Should just go Baron. Drop ward here. Drop ward here. Got Udir Sweeper running. I'm gonna put a control ward here just so it, it's an actual good ward. This is a bad ward. Always put it right here in the front of the Baron. We're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna double wrap it, guys. We're gonna use double double ward protection. You take glacial over aftershock. I take glacial over aftershock every single game. I guess unless you are like the only remotely tanky person on your team, which if that's the case, you're probably gonna lose the game. You can go aftershock, but bro, glacial is just so insane. It lets you stay on them and makes you stickier. It reduces damage to your team, so it's like it's like basically a built-in guardian. It lets you apply another stun because once you're they're stunned, they're stuck in the the slow. So you get a, you know you get the chain stuns together. Like it's just so broken. Whereas aftershock is like laughable damage and like resistances that usually don't mean anything anyways because you're not getting hit when they're CC'd. Yo, we need to get it together, team. What are we what are we doing? We are sieging bot, so I'm gonna set up visions to see when they're collapsing. I'm gonna be, oh, she knows I'm here. How she know I'm here?
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The Leona cleanup, baby. Find a new game, Pike? He played fine. I'm going in, team! Get in there! You coward. GG, guys. There it is. Our yearly game of Leona. Just wanted to show you guys that we still got it. And uh, show you guys on YouTube how to... Here is Leona. Um, so there it is. There's the damage chart. Obviously, our damage chart is completely laughable. We are playing a tank support. It would be very embarrassing for my team if I out damaged anyone. Uh, healing done. Ally healing. Ally shielding. Damage taken. Physical. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build chat. Then the couple switch. Take it easy. Peace. Uh